tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā kato katoa. I would first like to begin with a quick apology. In an ideal world, I would have memorised this speech, but honestly, up until this morning, part of me still believed COVID would cancel the ceremony. So apologies, I will have to refer to my notes. But nevertheless, we are here in person today, having graduated in the midst of a global pandemic. Congratulations, everyone. It is truly an honour to stand with you all today and reflect on our time at Te Herenga Waka, the Victoria University of Wellington. When I first moved to Wellington in February of 2017, Trump had just been sworn in as president, Jacinda Ardern was an anonymous member of parliament, international travel was still an option, and the average Wellington rent was about $180 per week. I anticipated my final year of university to be filled with parties and protests and, well, less time in lockdown hold up in my parents' spare room. Thanks, Mum and Dad. <laughs> At the risk of sounding incredibly cliche, my God, how the world has changed since then. When I sat down to start writing the speech, I honestly had no clue where to start. How could I even begin to sum up 2020, let alone the other three years of my degree without it sounding like an obituary? So I did what I always end up doing. I called my mum. And she reminded me of the things I loved about my time at Vic, because these were the things I had shared with my family. I was reminded of the amazing fashion and the unapologetic self-expression, the effervescence of Cuba Street with all its bright and beautiful colors, the hum of Lampton Key on any given day, the ridiculous and frankly terrifying hand sculpture thing that sits menacingly atop the art gallery. And of course, the famous Wellington weather. I told them of the lecturers who had inspired me with their incredible knowledge and insight, of all the powerful, unique individuals I had met who inspired me with their candor, of the constant political discourse shared and debated by everyone on campus, of all the protests I had joined from reproductive rights to climate change to the well-fought stick with Vic campaign. about the people who had held my hand when things got toughest. Those who listened and shared their vulnerabilities and reminded me that I was enough. Who commiserated with me over how overpriced and under-insulated my student flat was. The people who ensured I ate a hot meal because they knew I existed purely on Vic Books coffee. And those that have extended their compassion lent me their bravery, and have turned up today to hear me speak. I know that I am not alone in having met people during my time at university that have become family. The connections we have forged through some of the best and most difficult years of our lives will stay with us. So to my friends who have become my family, I want to take this chance to say thank you. Your kindness, honesty and vulnerability inspires me every day. I am truly grateful to have you in my life. And to my family, Nani, Papa, Mum, Dad, Sophie and Minnie, my love and appreciation for you grows every day. Even though we may occasionally disagree, you are my constants, my guiding stars. I love you all. And I would also like to take this opportunity to thank my fellow graduates. Some of you I know well. Many of you I have had fleeting interactions over the last four years. And well, if I'm entirely honest, a lot of you I have never seen before in my life. <laughs> and vice versa, I'm sure. <laughs> However, I am infinitely grateful to each and every one of you for fostering the Victoria University community that I hold so dear a community that valued acceptance and learning, in which views were shared and challenged, 
but compassion always extended. From the commiserating smiles shared during exam season, across the lecture theatres or in the Calburn Library far too late at night, to those who were unapologetically and inspiring, inspiringly yourselves and made everyone else better for it. University has been a passionate and empowering experience, and for that I thank you all. Passion is a uniting force, one that I truly believe resonates strongly with BA students. We don't necessarily choose this course of study to get a specific role or to start on a very narrow pathway. We study the arts because we love it, and that is apparent to all when we interact with them. If COVID has taught us anything in the past year, beyond the importance of frequently washing our hands, it's the value of human interactions and empathy, which are the pillars of the arts and humanities. As funding for the arts and humanities is increasingly limited in favour of technology and the sciences, it is passion that keeps the arts alive and thriving. Passion from the lecturers, from the tutors, and most importantly, from us, the students. Passion and a stable Wi-Fi connection got us through the distance and disconnection and enabled us to end up here today. University is hard, but it was made that much harder when we were suddenly cut off from our peers. Here, I need to acknowledge the incredible lecturers and tutors who went above and beyond to make this transition as seamless as possible. To the staff who reached out individually to students they had known less than three weeks just to check in with them. Those who took a compassionate approach to assignments and deadlines and who went out of their way to make us feel connected in an increasingly unconnected environment. Thank you. By now, I'm sure many of you are ready to get out of this hot auditorium and go celebrate with your loved ones. So to conclude, COVID sucked, but congratulations on getting through it. Thank you to everyone here today for all your continued support. Passion and empathy are so important. Please continue to let them guide you. And if the last few years have taught us anything, Take each day as it comes. There's no use planning. We can't predict when the next global disaster or pandemic will occur, but we can take the skills we have amassed and continue to listen and learn and apply them to whatever will come our way. I'm confident that we can handle whatever the world throws at us next. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa.